Capricorn, you need to know this right now for March the 7th through March the 8th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for March the 7th through March the 8th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Capricorn for March the 7th through March the 8th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Capricorn for March the 7th through March the 8th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Capricorn. Capricorn, these are your cards, honey. So, Capricorn, you have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea, the news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So listen, Capricorn, you could be receiving passionate messages. You could be sending out passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Or this is a heated discussion or argument. Clarify the page of wands for Capricorn. Clarify the page of wands for Capricorn. Clarify the page of wands for Capricorn. It is clarified with the six of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So listen, Capricorn, you could be getting their attention. They could be getting your attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here or this is an announcement being made. So listen, Capricorn, they very well could be getting your attention, sending passionate messages. You could be getting their attention, sending passionate messages. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here and it's causing a heated discussion or argument. Or what was brought to your attention was we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Capricorn, you have the Ace of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So Capricorn, new love, new start to love, or a blessing here? Clarify the Ace of Cups for Capricorn. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Capricorn. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Capricorn. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself and hold yourself back from something. So Capricorn, listen, could be dealing with a Leo. But you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Capricorn. Clarify strength for Capricorn. Clarify strength for Capricorn. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. So listen, Capricorn could be dealing with a Leo. You can tell me that you're happy. You want to be happy. You're over the moon or something was illuminated. Something came to light. Clarify the sun for Capricorn. Clarify the sun 
for Capricorn. Clarify the sun for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer your cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Three of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me you have just cause to celebrate. Mm -hmm. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting or there's a third party. Now, it very well could be that, hey, maybe you're mustering the strength and courage to come in here. Or maybe you're trying to resist because they're coming in with maybe a romantic gesture wanting just cause to celebrate in a new era in love. Could be making an announcement here. However, you can tell me that something was illuminated, something came to light, and they're apologizing, wanting to reunite here, okay? Could also be apologizing because someone has a third party. But outside of you and your present partner, it very well could be someone new here for you. This could all just be new. You could be getting together with someone from your past here. We'll see. Capricorn, you have justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty. I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Capricorn could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair. Something isn't balanced. Something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or we're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Capricorn. Clarify justice for Capricorn. Clarify justice for Capricorn. It is clarified with the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character. Someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take-charge type of energy. Someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the King of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the King of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the King of Wands for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Capricorn. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Capricorn. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Four of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coin, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So Capricorn, listen, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coin, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. Now, it very well could be that this partner is wanting to start a new era in love here, making an announcement, maybe wanting to go to the justice of the peace here. 
but you can tell me that you're holding back because it's a timing thing okay you may be restraining yourself and holding yourself back because it's a timing thing or because things between you guys are about to change and you're just maybe afraid here however comma capricorn listen you can tell me that you're keeping something close to your chest that something has changed between you and this partner you know and you feel justified in what you're doing because it feels like there's someone new here you have a new boo here capricorn you have the seven of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn this is you waiting and in this wait you're pausing to reflect on you guys as a relationship you're looking at the seeds that were planted looking at what has taken root what has grown and what it has produced thus far trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest whether you want to reinvest you're taking stock of you guys as a relationship assessing you guys as relationship but this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account, looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Capricorn, could be waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. For Capricorn, clarify the Seven of Pentacles. For Capricorn, it is clarified with temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So listen, Capricorn could be dealing with a Sag, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise or negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarified temperance for Capricorn. Clarified temperance for Capricorn. Clarified temperance. By Capricorn, it is clarified with the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or breakup. So listen, Capricorn, very well could be a shocking surprise. Something being revealed, a shocking revelation, or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Capricorn. Clarify the tower for Capricorn. Clarify the tower for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. So listen, Capricorn could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using your intuition concerning something, or searching your emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Fool. Could be dealing with an Aries. But the Fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey. To do a brand new thing, sight unseen. Just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So listen, Capricorn could be dealing with an Aries, but you can tell me that, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the Fool for Capricorn. Clarify the Fool for Capricorn. Clarify the Fool for Capricorn. It is clarified with the four of wands. Oh boy. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. 
Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So listen, Capricorn, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property here. So listen, Capricorn, you know, I feel like it's a timing thing here. I feel like you're waiting, contemplating. I feel like you're being, you know, being patient here because it's been a shocking surprise of taking a leap of faith, going into commitment here. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Wanting to go to the justice of the peace. However, you can tell me that, hey, there's been a shocking revelation, maybe even a breakup here because someone took a risk or a chance and you guys already established commitment. And now you're asking yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. But I'm going to tell you, if you're hesitant with your present partners because someone else is here. Capricorn, you have the Nine of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So Capricorn, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up, you don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. Clarify the nine of wands for Capricorn. Clarify the nine of wands for Capricorn. Clarify the nine of wands for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Ten of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you. Now, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. So listen, Capricorn, you're telling me you're having a difficult time. Something is burdensome, and you're just wanting to release it. Now, listen, either you're saying, you know what, I'm hesitant about going into some type of commitment with this person. It's kind of difficult here. I'm just hesitant. I'm holding back. I'm restraining myself. Maybe it's a timing thing. Yes. However, you can tell me that, you know, the difficulty is, is that you're guarding something. You're keeping something close to your chest here, possibly about you having someone else. And maybe you're not even wanting to heal things, mend things, work things out with your present partner. Capricorn, you need to know this right now from March the 7th through March the 8th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Madge, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.